so here i will explain about the how to find out hybridization very easily you can find out so there are the so many methods is there but i will discuss the easiest methods out of four methods shortcut methods is there to find out the hybridization one method i will discuss here next video i will make another method so here to find out the hybridization here is the formula 1 by 2 v plus m minus c plus a this is the shortcut method shortcut formula to find out the hybridization see here we have to understand if you want to apply this formula first of all we have to know the electronic configuration you have to know if you know the electronic configuration you can easily find out the hybridization you no need to know the how it is overlapping what is the shape no need to at all first you have to know the electronic configuration what is the use of the telling of electronic configuration so by using the electronic configuration here also valency electrons you have to find out that you have to know the next one you have to know the valence the atom containing the one electrons in the last shell that is the valence shell it's, it is called as a monovalent these two you should know only if you know these two you can easily apply this for, formula so here 1 by 2 v plus m minus c plus f so here v is nothing but valency electrons present on the central atoms so every molecule if you take one central atom is there a central atom and attached atoms are there so how many valence electrons are present you have to know monovalent atoms how many monovalent what is the monovalent monovalent in the sense the whose valency is only one for example if you take fluorine chlorine bromine hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium these all are monovalent c is nothing but charge on cation that means positive charge how many positive charge is there and a is nothing but charge on anion that you have to do if it is negative charge is there we have to add if it is the positive charge is there we have to subtract so by you by doing this you will get some numbers you will get that is all as a hybridization number you will get some two will get three four five six like this you will get if you get the two that is called as a sp hybridization if you get the three that is called as a sp2 hybridization if you get the four that is called as a sp3 hybridization if it is get five that is called as a sp3d sp3d2 followed like this so by using this method you can easily find out for let us see some of the example i want to know the hybridization of the nh3 I want to know the hybridization of the NH3. I want to know. So, NH3. His central atom is nitrogen. Central atom always stand single only. It is stand. So, whose atomic number is 7. So, electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. How many valence electrons? 5 valency electrons. Valence electrons in the sense, the electron present in the last shell is called as a valency electron. So, valence electrons apply the formula 1 by 2 v what is the value of v here 5 5 plus monovalent atoms monovalent atoms means whose valence is one that means it should have only single electrons in the valence shell hydrogen whose atomic number is one electronic configuration is 1s1 only one electron is how many is there 3 is there you have to write 3 is there any charge on cation that means any positive charge is there there is no positive charge so you can keep minus zero so any charge on anion there is no charge on anion so no need to write all this so by doing this you will get the four you will get some will get the four if it is four is there so it is sp3 hybridization next one xz of2 xenon oxy fluoride here also what is the central atom xenon is the central atom how many valency electrons is there v what is the value of v v is nothing but how many valence electrons is there in the central atom eight valency electrons are there m monovalent here too is there again confusion fluorine whose atomic number is nine valency electron uh, valency is only one its valency is only one oxygen it is a divalent it is a monovalent it is a divalent so we should not take the oxygen you should not take here so here fluorine how many fluorines two fluorines is there by so you will get the 
5 number 5 we will get so hybridization is sp3 dehybridization next one i3 minus by look at this you people see, uh, we thinking that there is no central atom but out of three iodines one is a central atom other atoms are attached to this at iodines so here central atom 1 by 2 what is the v value here central atom how many valence electrons seven valency electrons are present how many monovalent iodine is a monovalent but out of three one is a central atom remaining two are monovalent two monovalent two monovalent is there any positive charge there is no positive charge there is no positive charge is there any negative charge yes one negative charge is there so one negative charge is there that means we have to add one negative charge so now you will get five you will get sp3 dehybridization you will get by using this method you can easily find out the hybridization of the any molecule can we see the some example we can see pcl5 pcl5 we can see phosphorus phosphorus how many valence electron one by two what is the value of v here five any uh, monovalent atoms attached this yes chlorine is also monovalent atoms how many monovalent atoms five monovalent atoms are attached so here there is no charge on cation there is no charge on anion so five it is sp3 d hybridization next one ch4 methane how many central atom is carbon how many valency uh, valence electron present on central atom four valence electrons are present on the central atom how many is there any monovalent as yes. hydrogen is a monovalent how many hydrogens are there how many monovalent four monovalent atoms are there so eight by two is equal four four is nothing but sp3 hybridization next one if3 central atom is iodine one by two how many valence electrons seven valence electrons are there how many monovalent fluorine is a monovalent three valent atom there is no charge on cation there is no charge on anion so five five is nothing but sp3d hybridization next one h2o central atom is oxygen so one by two what is the v value six monovalent atoms two monovalent atoms attached there is no charge on cation there is no charge on anion so four sp3 hybridization so thank you for watching the my videos next video i will make another method to find out the hybridization thank you so much